This is Lance Luke, the building expert, continuing our conversation about the rail. Now, let's talk Hawaiian electric. Let's talk electricity. The rail is basically run on electricity. It does, it's not running on gas or diesel or solar power or anything like that. It, it runs specifically on electricity. The rail itself is consi consists of three rails, two on the tracks, and the third rail is the electric power that runs the rail. Now, Hawaiian Electric has said that Hart needs a substation and that wasn't even planned for and they need about 8,000 to 10,000 square foot of land which Hart does not have or has not acquired yet to build a substation. Furthermore, it's Hart's responsibility to operate and maintain and pay for the uh, maintenance of the substation. Is that in Hart's budget? I don't think so. So we have a problem here. The other issue is that Hawaiian Electric told Hart officials that the overhead transmission lines are too close to the rail and Hart basically disagreed. So I don't know where Hart gets to disagree with Hawaiian Electric, but now we're in another problem because we don't know what the total cost is for that. That's a, another cost increase. And do we know what the total costs for the utilities are? No, we don't. So that's another unknown factor. So stay tuned. Hopefully we'll hear more from Hawaiian Electric and Hart and they can come to some kind of an agreement but definitely I know it's going to be an increase in the total rail budget. This is Lance Luke signing off on the rail.